Again, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Now we are going to draw a special Disney villain. I have drawn Miss Corella before, however, um, it was only from like I don't even think we drew arms, it was just like the top of her body, and that was like it. So, we're going to draw this full body version of Corella because she's still wonderful and fabulous, even from the original. 101, 100, wait a minute, <laughs> 101 Dalmatians cartoon movie. So let's go ahead and jump into that. And by the way, you're totally gonna see this on like on the other side when we're going through the tutorial. Here's my original Corilla as Emma Stone, the one that I drew for my TikTok. So there's that if you guys wanna see me drawing that, but we're gonna draw this one. So she's got like a weird kind of egg head. So we're gonna kind of like round off the bottom, bring up this part here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make an eye guideline. And we're just gonna bring this down. Cause essentially her cheeks come out to here. So we'll get to that in a minute, but right now we're just laying out the bones. Give a line of action, so I'm gonna bring out, we're gonna go out this way with her body, cause she's got like a big, like awesome, I'm here pose. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that line of action. We, she has a very long neck and very, very, very skinny. The coat is what makes up the bulk of her character. So we're gonna draw like the top part of her torso. And then we're gonna go ahead and like bring out, it's kind of gonna look a little bit like a mermaid tail. Flur that outwards, bring out this part. We're gonna flur out this way too. One little stick leg here. I'm gonna circle out this way for one foot. Very, very long shoes, pumps going this way. And then we're gonna go this way and bring out this long pump of a shoe too. All right, now we gotta do the rest of the bulkiness of her character. Now for her arms, we're just gonna draw like sticks for right now. I'm gonna bring out one arm this way, go outwards. I'm gonna bring out one arm going this way and go up. I'm gonna go back behind her neck and this is the bulk of like her fur coat that's on top. We're gonna bring this one down, this part of her coat all the way down, go down this way, and we're gonna round off and bring out this part of her fur coat too. So there's all that. Now let's go ahead and start zooming in and filling in the building blocks. All right, so starting with her face, what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead, we have the eye guideline, and we have where her nose is. So her nose kind of looks a little bit piggy. I'm gonna go underneath, like that middle part. Just gonna go underneath there. And there's where our center point of our face is. And then her eyes are closed, so this, this will be very, very easy. I'm gonna take the needed eraser, kind of pick up a little bit of these lines. So with her eyes being closed, you're just gonna make like a bridge on that line here. And you make a bridge right here. So we've got closed eyes, so those are the, her eyelids. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and bring out one eyelash line here. So you make go up and bring this out. Go up here and you're gonna go bring this line up here. And you make it nice and thick. We're gonna keep these sides of her faces her faces. We're gonna keep these sides of her face. Bring out one cheek here from that eyelash and bring out the other cheek on the other side. And then it's gonna start to get like a little squarish. So we're gonna bring down one, that jawline, and we're gonna go and bring this up. So that's her chin. And we're gonna go back in and complete, complete the fullness of that kind of weird jawline, high cheekbones. Then for her lips, 
we're gonna start off easy. We're just gonna make a line going upwards. So make this line going upwards. Then you're gonna bring up one corner here, one corner here. And we're gonna make more of a boxy kind of smile. So we're gonna bring down this part here, curl up here. So these are her teeth and you're just gonna kind of make a line through and you'll get rid of this like this middle guideline later. And then we're gonna thicken up her lips a little bit more. So the top lip is gonna go up. So we're just gonna bring up that top lip and we'll bring down the middle part too. So you see how it's like thick. And then we're gonna go down here and make this a really thick bottom lip too. We're still going up, like we're going upwards with that bottom line. Kind of looks like she has like a little bit of surgery done. That's why her lips look a little weird. <laughs> I don't know how they did the procedures back then, but I think that's what the impressions kind of given off. Then again, she's just a crazy character anyways. So that's that. And then her eyebrows are all the way up here. So they're like up on top of her forehead. I'm gonna darken these eyelashes a little bit more. I'm gonna give her a little bit more fullness to them because she's wearing a crazy amount of makeup. <laughs> and then for her nose, since it looks just like a little bit piggy, so I'm gonna round up, give it more of an actual shape of a nose. And then you're just gonna go in, make one nostril here and one nostril here. I'm actually going to bring out this nostril. Go out that way, bring up this nostril, and go out that way. So it kind of looks like an S almost. And you've got top of nose here, here. Next, we need to do her hair. So the top of her forehead's perfect. We're going to go ahead, bring out one bang going out this way. I'm, I'm guessing these are bangs. One section of hair going out this way. And you want to kind of like make like a froof at the top. So one froof going this way. <laughs> kind of reminds me of 80s rock star hair. And you're going to make another roof, froofy froof out going this way. And you're just going to kind of like bring this down. Go back into that hair. So this is essentially her bangs. And then you're going to bring down this side. So we're going to bring down her hair here. Then we're gonna stop there. Let's go ahead and give her her neck. See her one side of her neck's gonna go this way. Other side of her neck's gonna go this way. Then we're gonna start making her shoulders right there because then we got the rest of her hair that's kind of like tucked in here behind her neck. Let's define her chest just a little bit more so we can draw like the V-neck to her dress. We're gonna bring out one side of her chest here and then it gets pretty skinny right here. Then what we're going to do is jump over off to the other side and we're gonna bring this in and then come outwards just a little bit. And then up here, Starting at the top of her shoulder, you're going to make her strap, make her V-neck going pretty low, and then you're going to go up, back up to this shoulder, and you're going to take this strap, this top of the strap from her shoulder, and circle down, so we'll see like a little bit of like the armpit area, not really, but <laughs> you're going to go up into here make that part of like this is the underside of her arm all right we do have a little bit of cleavage right there and you're gonna go under here so just kind of like make it 
bring up that side a little bit, make it even. So that means we got one little definition of her chest right there. Now I'm just gonna kind of erase this. There we go. And then we're gonna give the top of her arm here and just start the top because her fur coat's gonna be covering that up. And then we'll see a little bit of her arm here. And it should be like, if I draw across, it should be kind of the same width of arm. So I'll just bring this down a little bit. Shoulder here, shoulder here. Fur, the fur coat. So the fur coat is going to like the very top. It's going to start here, cutting off her arm and then another point here where it cuts off her arm. But then we have this part, which is, I guess, like the main of the coat <laughs> that starts like back here. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna draw through her face just a little bit, really lightly. I'm gonna bring this part down here and this part here, all the fur fur. So this part matches up to this part. Same for here, this part will match up to this part. And then what you're gonna do is on top, you're gonna go and give like the little tufts of hair that show like, I guess like the mane of, I don't know the anatomy of a coat. <laughs> and then you have the big old sleeves. So the sleeves are gonna go, we're gonna just big one big circle here for right now. And the same over here, another big circle. And goes right into like this corner. And then you'll bring this part down. So starting, let's start with the right arm first. So you're going to bring up this part, bring down here, and bring down here. Then we have our circle and we're gonna go and draw it right on top. Just a big like opening to her coat because we have her arm that's right here still. And we're gonna make that thicker so it's a very, like she has a very skinny wrist. Very skinny, so we're just making it thicker. And then for her hand. So this is her palm. And once again, she has her hands out, outward, so I'm just kind of making a palm. I made like a fin on top, like this. And then I'm gonna make her thumb, so I'm gonna make like, go up here at the palm and go up here at the palm, and then turn up the thumb. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go make a finger here, a finger here, and a finger here. So make sure we have five. Make You just want to divide this part of her hand into five fingers. And then we have like the inside of her hand. So this is like the creases of the coat. But you're going to go around like you were doing up here. And you're going to give a little bit more definition to that this is a fur coat. Go around, add some fur. And then the lining of her coat is red and her gloves are red. Now let's go ahead and focus on this hand over here. Same thing, we're gonna make a circle for the opening of her coat sleeve. And then we're gonna make her arm really skinny. And we're gonna do the same thing over here, except her arm, her one hand is gonna be a little bit more upwards. So over here's the palm. Same kind of like fishtail thing going on. And then we're gonna bring out the thumb. So I make a curve for that, that inside of the thumb. Bring it down and attach to the palm make the inside of the palm, and then I'm gonna divide this like fin looking thing into five fingers. One, two, three, four, five. And bring out this one down here. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm gonna bring, so we got this part of the sleeve. We're gonna just kind of bring this down just a little bit more. Close that opening a little bit more and then we're gonna go around, add the tufts of hair. Now for the bottom of her jacket and going around her. So this part of her jacket is like this side. So we're gonna go and we're gonna go right in front of like part of her body and your circle right back up. And then you're gonna circle right back up. It looks like cattails, like the weeds that are in the swamp or whatever, or the, like the lake, the cattails. And then we got like three or four pieces of this coat. You're gonna round it down into each other. And then the same thing over here, except we see a little bit more of the lining. So starting from here, you're gonna bring down this part like it's kind of swinging outwards. And it's gonna swing into like her dress area and it's gonna go right back up into here. Then you're gonna bring out this part which is like the fur and this is mostly lining. And you're gonna make a little bit of a cattail down here, cattail here, and then another cattail. And then back under here where her dress is, you're gonna kind of just like make that one giant cattail that's hanging out back there. Now the thing you're going to do with this is you're going to add fur around like you were doing to the sleeves. So you're gonna add fur all around here. So the only place you're not gonna add fur is right here, this part. And I'll color this later so you can see it. This is the inside of the lining to show a little bit more red. now for her feet they're pretty fun so we're going to so the end of the dress is here and swoop this part out and it goes right under here but this part is essentially overlapping her dress so we can only see like this part of her dress but we see and she's got purple stockings on which is fantastic. <laughs> and you're gonna go ahead and we're going to make really like skinny arms, skinny ankles. Go outwards with the shoe. Go in, up, make the heel. And we're gonna go outwards. And then for the top of the shoe, you're gonna kind of, it looks like just like a rectangle top. You're gonna go close off that shoe. Same thing over here. This one's gonna be out a little bit more, so really skinny ankle. I'm bringing out this shoe. We're gonna kind of curve it outwards. We're gonna go out, in, and then we have, we're gonna round off that back part, and we have a heel. So we're bringing this out. Like she's kind of like pointing her foot just a little bit, all princess pose. <laughs> and then round it up. Another really important thing I almost forgot, she is wearing earrings. So she is wearing earrings, almost forgot. They're big turquoise earrings and they're just hiding behind her cheekbones. All right, I'm going to line and color this for you so you can have a better idea of what's what.
And there you guys go. There is Cruella. Now, and there you guys go. There's Cruella. And this is totally inspired because we just saw a wonderful recreation of this wonderful timeless villain's origin story through the Emma Stone version. So I heard it's really great. I haven't seen it yet. Can't wait to see it. Just waiting for work to kind of calm down and I'll finally go see Cruella. But yes, guys, I hope you guys will see Cruella the movie and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!